A Maryland police chief named Michael Pristop was giving testimony during a hearing in Maryland about the legalization of marijuana, and he's 100% against it, and he said this, quote, The first day of legalization, that's when Colorado experienced 37 deaths that day from overdose on marijuana. I remember the first day. It was decriminalized. There were 37 deaths. So he said it twice. He said it twice. So it wasn't like, oh, you know, a blip, I messed up, I let something slip, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. Now, uh, is that true or is that false? Well, we covered this on the show before. Not only is that not true, it is laughably untrue. In fact, thank goodness there was a Democratic state senator, Jamie Raskin, who was in the meeting, who, and she's not an idiot, and uh, this is the response uh, to Michael Pristop. Quote, unless you have some other source for this, I'm afraid I've got to spoil the party here. Your assertion that 37 people died of mar a marijuana overdose in Colorado was a hoax on the Daily Current and the Comedy Central website. Yes, that's right. This was a satirical article that this guy was totally convinced was real. Like, he didn't skip a beat. He was like, no, 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 this is totally real. I read it online. It must be true. You know, this reminds me of, there was uh, a state senator, a Republican state senator, I forget which state it was in, one of the red states, who was convinced that a story from The Onion was real, that uh, Democrats were opening up a big uh, center that was a movie theater, a, a couple restaurants, and uh, an abortion clinic. And they called it the abortion plex. And they talked about, oh, the facility is uh, top of the line, this and that, and you can watch a movie and then get an abortion. It's like the old Sarah Silverman joke. She said, you know, Republicans act like it's a common thing that we do for fun. Like, hey, you want to go, you know, grab a burger and then maybe an abortion? But this guy was convinced, no, they're creating an abortion plex. I know, I saw it online. You fucking idiot. Like, do you have no sense in your head? That's so outlandish, but they were convinced it's real. Same thing here. No, 37 marijuana deaths on the first day. I'm convinced it's real. Well, after uh, the guy was totally embarrassed by people who called him out, he pseudo-apologized. He said, quote, after conducting additional research, no, you mean research for the first time, it appears that was not accurate at all. I believed at the time that was accurate, but I don't think it takes away from the other facts we presented. Yes, it does. No, no, it absolutely does. What do you mean? You totally destroyed your credibility. Clearly, what you'll do is confirmation bias. So whatever your uh, already held opinions are, you'll go online, type something in, and whatever the first thing is from whatever stupid fucking website that's made up comes up that supports your opinion, you'll say, yes, let's go to that one, and whatever it says, we're going to write it down as if it is fact. So, yes, of course it takes away from your other facts, because your other facts are likely not facts. And I gotta read you uh, one of the Facebook comments on this, too, because it's so perfect. A guy named Ken Stewart said, quote, He could have uh, talked to a medical expert or a coroner, or even looked at his own department's statistics, but in his rush to confirm his own biases, this credulous stooge used the first Google result that fit into his preconceived narrative. Fail. Now, again, just to show you how wrong this guy is, this is from the DEA, and they're no fans of marijuana. They say you would have to smoke 20,000 to 40,000 the amount of THC in one joint to risk dying. That's how much it takes to overdose on marijuana. Okay, if you, so what, a normal person smokes, what, a quarter of a joint, a half a joint if they're sharing it with somebody, maybe less? Yeah, you need to smoke 20,000 to 40,000 joints to overdose from marijuana. What the fuck? You could overdose from Doritos quicker than that, right? Eat 10 bags of Doritos, you'll probably croak, clog your arteries in one sitting. Uh, McDonald's will kill you faster than that. There's another, there's a measurement that scientists use to determine how lethal a substance is. It's called the LD50 number. It stands for lethal dose for 50% of the population. And what that means is, all right, so if I give substance X, if I give NyQuil to these 10 people, at what dosage will five of them die, okay? 
And uh, when it comes to something like alcohol, for example, the LD50 is around 10. So 10 times the recommended dose is what could kill you. You know what the, the LD50 is for marijuana? 1,500 pounds. You would need to smoke 1,500 pounds in a time span of 50, 15 minutes. So that's, how, that's what it would take to overdose for a marijuana. It, it would, it's scientifically and physically impossible to do it, but that's how, what you would have to do in order to die from it. But this jackass thought 37 people died the first day it was legalized in Colorado. What an embarrassment. This dude should step down. You're not an expert. You're not even a smart guy. You're not even a, of average intelligence. You're a clown. You're a fool. You're, you're, you're talking about shit. You have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. Why should anybody trust you about anything? You delegitimize everything you have to say from now until forever. Go away.